here at Monica 2024 at Open Country Day with uh, Cardigan Mountain. Far side of the ice, wearing their uh, away, uh, away whites, up with the bright yellows. Love the uh, Steelers uh, jerseys here. All right, just uh, staying away from some of the copyright strikes, uh, ACDC. Uh, shut your YouTube channel down if you're not quick enough on a mute. But, um, all right, so up on uh, Country Day here in Cardigan Mountain. Uh, we'll do player introductions here to start. Again, first uh, game for both teams, even though it's the second game of the tournament. Um, we'll do a full roster introduction. Game two here. Cardigan Mountain Cougars. 
right, so as we had before, 12 minute periods. There'll be an ice cut here at the first intermission. Outside. Cardigan looks to the middle. Nice disruption in the middle there from Holmes. Holmes for Upland seals that down. Jackson Royer in net for the Bees. Andrus, Luke Andrus moves the puck. Andrus works it outside, gets to the point. That one blocked up front. Heavy throw down there from Malone, Pavel Malone. Very skilled player from Cardigan. One of the few players that's uh, a swing player, they call it. He will play on the varsity squad for Cardigan and on the JV squad. Uh, Andrus throws that right to the goaltender. Got to uh, track up who uh, too suited. And looks like we got ourselves up on goal. No, no, sorry. Take it back. I should probably stop back up here. We are scoring up. Big dump there, just getting over center ice. Royer traps it behind the net, avoid it from rimming back up for long. Good puck battle to the outside of the Ivory Tower. Get outside, back into the zone. Giving chase there, Cam Willis. Cam Willis turns tight towards the boards. He feeds that up ice. Willis gets it up to Vilska. Feeds it back over to Vilska. Vilska, low slot. A lot of traffic, Vilska gets the pads. Icing ball coming. Not a good intensity. Both teams start off with a, a lot of pep in their step here. They're making two really long trips. All right, we're going to face off just to the right. we got to pick up who the goaltender is there. Not sure if it's South or Santini. I'm going to say it's Paco. Paco. It looks like 31's on the bench right now. And Cardigan with his own exit. Heavy dump. And they're going to get a dump of change here. Going one to chase, F1 there. Big number 23, Leo Yin. And fresh legs at center ice to meet that puck. And outside. Oh! And an absolute snipe there, stepping down, JT Chorgino. And he had, I believe he had uh, Kino Zoo there, fed that up to him. And 
towards an O. Just kind of right at the hash marks and buries that one. Cardigan goes up one up that here early in the first. Game already feels like it's got twice the intensity of what we just saw in our last contest. Really good puck movement. And Upland looks to turn it outside. And disrupted with two beneath the goal line. Two Cougars stepped down on it. And the D-men just absolutely collapsed in the zone here. Luke Andres. Andres plays it over. That one disrupted. And same sequence there, 8 and 11. Both keying up together. We have Zhu and Turgeno. Uh, and that back door was open. And Zhu pays it back. And yeah, had the assist in the first goal. And he's hung out on the back side there. Zhu grabs that one. So, uh, we got 11 with the score. We got 8 with the score. Let's go home! Two nothing game here. Eight eighteen. Left in the first. Left one in the zone. Working from the dot shot. That one blocked up front. From Miles Bouchard. Kick out save there from Souther. That one floats up to the top. D-Man throws it in. Cam Willis looks to make something happen. Steps in on the point. That's coming right back to Willis. Willis tries to keep it from coming over the blue line. It's in the neutral zone. We got a battle on the wall. Two white jerseys, two yellow jerseys. And that one comes right over the center ice crest. And Willis, Willis is looking to get goal side on it. Above the puck there. Ethan Holmes carries it out. Ethan Holmes, oh, tough giveaway on a line change. But Jason Tamman walks it in. It's a help for his teammate. We floated that one out of the space there in neutral. And it's a game of turnovers and transition. Tamman back with it. Tamman feeds it back. Gives it to Simon. Simon, Simon bees that one off the wall. Damon chases. Comes back to Cleary. Cleary, D to D pass. D pass comes back to Cleary. Chef and Cleary working together. Two back men here. Gets that up to Jackson Simon. Simon tries to effort it over the blue line. Kind of gets it into the zone. Not without a lot of attention from the Cardigan squad. Nice step down there. Oliver Chef throws it back in to make a nuisance of it. Simon, Simon, feeds it back around. Cardigan with a third exit. Cardigan's number is a little bit difficult for me to pick up here. A lot going on those Thursdays. And looking for a wrap around. Got help in front. And another turn and shot. We've got Wang and Wales working together there. The two of them, goal posts on either side. by Cleary to get to that puck. Cleary's just gonna throw an ice down. And front man agrees with that. And we're gonna face off just outside the zone. Oh, sorry, just inside the zone, sorry. Alright, 
Coors looks at working out, but getting to clear and <laughs> where you want to clear it. Yeah, Upland player throws it back up to the Upland bench. Those aren't the guys you can pass it to. Sinclair and Shapiro on the bench for uh, coaching staff. For Cardigan. Get on the puck. Get on the puck. Need to cross that one and clear it. And good effort. Try to pull some uh, some eyes away. Bouchard there. Bouchard. Bouchard gets him his own pass. Bouchard. He's got help in the middle. And a short-handed effort here for Upland. Recognizing a little uh, aggressiveness for Cardigan. Cardigan. That's uh, Sergio coming up strong there. And he's this possessed of the puck. Puck goes back down ice. Cardigan. Cardigan with wheels. Hamilton Day feeds it up. And he brings it all the way around the back of the net. And uh, escapes the zone in the process. And avoiding a high stick there. And that one thrown down. 30 seconds remain in the power play for the Cougs. Bees buzzing and sending one up to be disruptive. And Kuskar there. He's the head man. You can only send one when you got the four on five. And play as we saw before. Shot. That one redirected up front by Andres' stick. Andres with the block. And that one squirts out of the zone. Hamilton Day, he's got a Field it. It's the zoo. Zoo tries to clear that over. And Upland kills the penalty. Five on five hockey here. And some of these skaters are a little uh, reprieve on the ice. We've been out here for a long shift. And both teams with relatively equal size uh, benches. So that'll help them in a four game contest for this weekend. Funny, you start to see, you know, first, second period, you see some really good, intense hockey, a lot of good speed, and then by that fifth or sixth period of the same day, you start uh, seeing a, it's almost like a different brand of hockey. So you'll see that this afternoon. Oh, good effort there by Bilska. Bilska was stepping down to try to get a shot. Oh, beautiful play by Holmes. Run his opponent outside. And that puts himself between the puck and the net. Holmes, smart defenseman. Holmes, there's that one up on the wall, but able to get it outside the zone. Persistent there, Wilska. Rewarded with his own exit. Kowalowski chases up ice. Tapped in, Kowalowski gives him life, Andrus. Gives chase. Andrus, nice good forecheck. Heavy on the stick there. Making that stick work for every inch it has. And that one comes up over. Yeah. Hits the rafters. Goes out of bounds. We got a face off. To get inside the zone there. Probably right there. Intellistrator. Alright, so second game, 10 games. Two sixteen remaining in the first period. Face off win for the back uh, for the Cardigan Cougars. That one over center ice, thrown deep. Number 23 steps down on it. Leo Yin. Shot, Cardigan, empty net. Nice job. Oh, Royer did a great job on that initial save. He had the rebound. Floor was open. He got down on it, but wasn't able to get down on that second shot. And it looks to be Keno Zoo again. I think that's number eight. Oh, I take it back. It looks like Eli Heffer. Number nine. Small player, but finds that <laughs> nonetheless. 
Got a three nothing game here. Zone exit, get it to neutral. Back check coming from Cougars. Not throwing that deep, trying to get it to Vilska. Vilska chasing it very deep. Cleary. Cleary's going to take it outside. Cleary recognizes the approaching uh, winger. And D men have to play a little bit deep here. Cardigan throwing F1 and F2 right along the uh, blue line. Shot. Redirected outside by Royer. And Cardigan retreating. Giving pressure. Who's car? Cardigan back in the zone. Shot. And that looks to be Kino Zhu with the second of the day. Sorry you don't stay today. Four and 47 seconds remaining in the first. So it's a little bit in the first game too. Rectory going up, two quick goals. And uh, pouring it on right now. Boyer, Boyer watches that one. Cardigan works it outside. Oh, dispossessed there. Stephen Wong has to float it over. Wong on that back door. Thanks, Parker. Face up. Tied up with Andrus. Andrus tries to get forward. And gloved out of the air. Flyers base uh, glove catcher and, uh, and shell there for uh, for Royer. Junior Flyers. Face off draw back for Cougars. Cougars step back in on it. Ryan Sands pulls that cross ice. That's out of him in the first period. We're gonna get ourselves a nice cut here, again, given that uh, every two periods. So uh, we're gonna uh, get a little break and uh, a good bit of hockey here to start the first period. Uh, you got four nothing in the first period on the score. Spooner and Squad will uh, get good taste. I'll go to mute for a little bit and uh, see you guys there. There's a lot of donuts and there's a lot of chicken. This morning, everybody. It's going to be a full day. The court done. Court talking to referees. All right, we're going to quick mute here and uh, now it's the Samboni magic.
using uh, fresh ice. Right now, nobody's going hungry this weekend. With the uh, spread of food, all of these teenagers will be well fed. So, no concerns there. Alright, so I'll put making their way back out on space. Cardigan at the bench. Well, the Upland, uh, Upland families in the uh, dog pound here. This is the dog pound. <laughs> right? Upland, the home team for this game. Create some havoc behind the net here. Very nice job to keep it in. Oliver Chef. He throws it back up. That will come through the paint. And Cardigan with his own exit. Cardigan deep in the zone. They get a change. As does Upton Squad. Walking her off the wall. Shot. Saved by Royer. Yeah, a little bit of time and space there. For Will. Will on there. Oh, nice move inside. Shot. Runs a little high there. Cam Willis, good effort. And big deep pass off the wall. A little pep here in the up and step. Loska throws it back up. Loska, again, disruptive along the wall. Loska comes back to it. Let's go finish a uh, born player. Uh, finish exchange, I believe. And Andrus there. Andrus. It's at a flow. Big stretch pass there for Cardigan. Upland works it behind the goal line. Andrus picked it off the wall. Picked it to neutral. Played off the glass. And Bouchard trying to disrupt. Upland back in the zone. That shot blocked up front with Connor Morris. Morris with captains. Morris carries. Oh, nice move to the middle there by Bouchard. Bouchard grabbed a set of uh, stick work.
Andrus gets by his stick, comes back to Royer. Royer says, you know what, let's get a freeze here. And we're gonna face off. Actually, that's exactly, is that throw me? That's my goalie change there. My apologies. Danny Thornton, netminder there, wearing the numero uno. All right, face-off win for Cardigan, comes back. Trainer there. Sees it back to his pads. Cardigan holds his own. That one's comes to the trainer. Trainer pad save. Tapped it back in. Hamilton Day. Day's got to track back on it. hamilton has got numbers here. Battle in the neutral zone. Cardigan gets it back up into the offensive zone. Torres now throws it around. Gets it back to the point. I think that's Newton Watts there, number five. Again, we didn't hear him in the introductions, but wearing the number five. Unless they have uh... check my other program too. And shoveled back up hit over trainer's shoulder. Cardigan feeds back to the front. Trainer sealing the downstairs. Still working it. Way outside his crease, but very disruptive and very much making things difficult for Cardigan here. Uh, trying to stretch out as far as he could there. There's Pam Buscar. And we got ourselves a Cardigan goal. And just relentless pressure. And gets one by Trainer. In a 5 nothing game here. Yeah, I guess. All right, it's face off, center ice. Getting low. <laughs> he doesn't have anyone to face off with yet. <laughs> we'll slide to his bad chair with uh, a good tie up there, though. Oh, it's easier when you're uh, half shorter. That runs back around. Ryan Sands. Sands, team man. Staying at home. Up and oh, with a tip down. And Andrews had a high stick there. <laughs> he probably knew it. No, uh, no whistle there. Shot. Big number one three there, it's Connor Morris. That one's coming back over. And back up south there. It's ass, gets it to his glove. Pops that one up in the air. here at the Zamboni door for the goal goal line. Shuttling that up. Up and bringing pressure though. It'll make it a little more difficult to work along the wall there. Nice step down along the blue line. Well, get an escape there. On the stick of Hamilton Day. Hamilton Day walks it right in. Hey, still with it. He's over to Fox. Fox goes the weak side. Shot, loose puck, nice clear by Upland, and it gets to Trainer. Trainer snags that one off the ice, gets a stoppage. Face off to the right of Trainer. Again, goalie change here in the second period for the Bees. Tying up Puskar a little bit there. Yeah, Puskar being disruptive as well. Carry that out. Just by the referee. Watts. Watts around the back. Watts surveys the scene. Good centering 
idea there. Andrus clears it out into neutral. Put that deep into the zone. Right up on the retreat. Nice tee to D below the goal line. Getting the Cougars to move here a little bit. As we say, a pass is always faster than the skater. Watts, Watts shot, throws it on the ice. Upland still efforting to get his own exit here. Buried in their own zone. Working the wall, but everything's a pinch down. And D-men and the wingers. Making a double. Oh, we got ourselves an upland attempt. Good effort there by Puskar. Puskar recognizes that. And he just needed a trailer on that. A little rebound. And both players go down. No call. One play. <laughs> and not sure uh give it to another drone skater, but lose on a twig there. Trainer redirects it to the side. Goes back to the point. Point walks it over. And trainer right to his glove. Had a laser beam there. Connor Fox there. D-man from Hanover, New Hampshire. Right there, right near Canaan. Cardigan with dark green. Reference of the Dartmouth colors and the uh, Vermont Catamount colors as well. Always green up there. Oliver Chef runs it one way, goes the other way with it. Feeds it up to the front. Good puck movement here for Upland. Centering pass there from Willis. Over Vilska. Oh, unmarked in the middle. Nice job there. Oliver Chef hanging in the high slot. He throws it on net. And we got two here mucking it up. And they're both going to be, we're both going to go with uh, Quinton Hill. Oh, a little bit extra there. We need that. That's going to be an offset. Unless more gets tacked on. And we might do that. I don't know. And looks like that's true. So, Bobo Malone there, I think, number 10. Going in the box. So, it'll be a net. Upland, Upland should have five. Uh, they put him on the board. Coincidental, so. Oh, sorry, offsets. I'm not sure why they're on the board. All right, 130 for both. Looks like they're playing four. That's that was sorry. That was a signal. Four on four hockey. A lot of real estate. Andres gonna win that foot race. Trying to get it to a stick. Feeds it back. Exactly. Sorry. They turn there for well on. It's the pass to trainer. Trainer gets a stop. And one's out of the box there. Unless he's not. Where he went in the box. <laughs> the cardigan player. Oh, there he is. He's standing. He's just scared. He's next to his goaltender. Got himself a starting a goal. So do celebration. And four on four, even strength goal. Call for Will on. Will on. And we're going to go. Six nothing game. And both players still in the box. Man calls for it. He gets the puck. Shot. This shot is deflected upward. That's uh, Watts again, I believe. 
and Watts throws that up, but D-Man steps out on him. And Mateo there. Playing up high. He gets a block on it. Heads over the head of uh, Trainer. Two twenty-two remaining in the second. Again, we already had the ice cut, so uh, we'll have uninterrupted uh, right through the third period. Shot. Both third teams muck it up a little bit here. Ryan Sands takes the shot, and corner kind of Morris right on him for Upland. So, players standing up to the penalty box. A lot of times when they pour on the clock like this, you know, uh, they don't let them think that they can just escape from 130. You know, it's a whistle. Big stretch pass. Day up to again there. And looking for a face off coming down here. Just to try to decide the side. Draws back, it was a face off. He throws it back over. Star, Wilska up front. Cam Willis there, Cam Willis whips on it twice. Just trying to throw it to net. Sequence for these. Seven two over there. There's an open man. Again, while skating up ice. Back to the stick of the bees. Willis with pressure. Oh, Puskar sees that passing lane, feeds over, close to the five hole. Paco South there with the save. Trying to catch him, he's already down. All he had to do was trap down those pads. Shot. Paco, save. Unobstructed at the front of the net there. Buscar, recognizing that late cardigan, D-Man gets back on him. Up with D-Man, steps up on the blue line. And looking for puck possession, not just dumping. And throwing a shot, Trainer stretches out on it. That puck wide. Cardigan draws back to the neutral. Dump and chase. Goes back along the wall. Upland with possession. Upland to the same, but again, flips up into the Upland bench. Coach Weston throws the puck back out. Now we get a face off at center ice. Rumsey squad uh, preparing for the coming game. Doing some warm ups right now outside. That sound is the end of the second period. Again, well, third period will follow us right back up. The teams make their way to the bench. Yeah, we we'll start third period. So. Two. Well, 
so uh, uh, oh, Eli Heffer. Eli Heffer uh, on the uh, roster, submitted roster. So see him in there and uh, go on with him. This uh, the second goal scorer. All right, the team that takes the ice first is usually the one that wants to win, so the one that wants to win more. So the next game will be at 2 o'clock. we we'll some fundraiser events as well. We'll a chuckle puck. I believe some of the uh, lot of Rumsey uh, squad will be chucking a puck. It's a fundraiser for uh, the Joe Garasino Foundation. That'll be all kind of local event stuff here. Checking in on Trainer there. Trainer with a good bucket there. Look at that paint job. Got a few up on top there. Angry B too. Angry B, that's the uh, that's the angry up one B. Right. Fierce, ferocious, tasty. Alright, Cardigan needs to get it out of the zone, they do. Not for up one. Works for Z-Men. Feeding that real deep. Throws it all the way down, but capturing it. And Souther grabs it off the ice. This game so far pretty clean as far as penalties go. Not a lot of extracurriculars. Got a long week in the hockey. Got four games all together. Twelve minute kind of periods. Don't want to get yourself into penalty trouble early. A lot of hockey to be played. That one comes back to center ice. Big man wins the race. He's it to the front. It's uh, by Trainer. Goes back over to Trainer. Trainer gets two consecutive saves there. Buscar gets it clear. Buscar feeds it up. And he gets to the stick of a cougar. Right, Trailing man, F3, in the zone. It's in there, Willis trails in. Captures it. Winger and the D-man steps down. Trying to keep the Cougars pinned back there. But they're gonna escape up the middle. Right over center ice. And trapping him outside. That drop off, shot. Easy there. Oliver Chef. Oliver Chef, the unmarked man, sent it too deep on the uh, four checker. And Chef unmarked and good blind pass there. Number 21 grabs it. Oh, sorry, that's not Chef. Sorry, it's not Oliver Chef. Steve Long. Sorry, I'm not My apologies. Chef on the up and slug. And consistently four checking. Trainer playing up high in his crease. And I think it might have gone to his. Uh, and Coach Shapiro saying Luke Middle. So that's probably for Andrus. After taking the face off. Right handed. Tries to shovel it forward. Andrews wins possession. Backing him up. And Suara, oh, sorry, Connor Stearns. Thanks to Stearns family for hosting uh, our hockey player. We go down and up there. Generosity. Uh, we're going to repay the day tonight. Uh, three of the Upland players making a trip to uh, Shenhouse. 
feed him, maybe go watch a hockey game, prep school hockey game. Meeting uh, Mr. Stearns down there, great family. All right, throwing that one back in. We got a seven nothing game here. Brooklyn's still playing with a good fight. You get a line change. Three. Teske up front there. Kowalski. Come back on the back check too. Kale Cuff. Roll the lines a little bit here. Well, I'm able to collect that onto his stick. Comes back to Chef. Chef feeds it over. Morris. Morris goes the other way. Well. And up to Vilska. Vilska. Gets the center over. <laughs> I'm sure where that was. Feet, feet noise here, coach. Sight. Easier said than done. Shovel up there from Leo Yin. He shovels it high up over back of the net. And having a hanger here. So, Virgino hanging out there. Fires Upland to leave one of theirs. Oh, dangerous play there. Oh. Coming right in on Trainer. Zoo comes right in and just absolutely trucking Danny Trainer there. Trainer uh, just collecting himself a little bit. Trainer checking out Trainer. MC Hall Trainer. Shake his head off a little bit. And probably gonna face off just to his left. Alright, face off drawback for Cardigan. That one sneaks out of the zone. That four and a half two in hard. Willis. Willis pesky. He's throwing it up there. Willis goes right into the corner. Cardigan drops it off. And feed the winger. Pavel Malone, very skilled player. Again, one of the swing players. Plays on the uh, upper squad as well. Never seeing him taking some uh, pregame. He was out there before anybody else. We were playing up and off the club up by Cardigan. Taking reps on the ice, a little free ice. And Malone with it, Malone shot. Yeah, right to the glove of Trainer. he's okay. Trainer loves that one out of the air. Andrus draws it back. He's on his uh, right side there, so he's got the backhand. A little stronger on the backhand. The face off win. Upland works along the blue line. Throwing it in. Oh, we got ourselves an Upland goal. After Cleary, getting it done on the blue line. A little bit of traffic in front. And sneaking that one by Paco. We got ourselves a 7 1 game. Cleary, number 19. Not sure if he had a tip in there with Andrus or not, but uh, <laughs> kind of a subdued celebration. We got running clock going. Cleary feeds it up.
Denying the shutout. <laughs> Two Souther. One in. And waiting minutes here, under four minutes to play. And Cardigan back in the zone. Working from outside. That one rims up by Cleary. Rims up to the winger. Take a little time to play that one. Benny Griffin. D man. He plays it with his knees. He's gonna come back around. Leo Yin. Yin kicks it forward. That one sneaks out. Cougars back in at it. Oh, nice puck there. Wilska. Wilska clears it out. Bouchard. On the stick of Bouchard. Backing him up. Forward. Caleb Clow. 18, 16, and 24 working well together. Plenty of Upland jerseys there. Kick up. Centering pass. Trying to stretch the ice a little bit. 209 remaining. Close the background. That one rimmed up. Shot. Trainer save. Trainer pads the glove. He uh, got the pad save and it popped up into his glove there. Good sequence. Again, running time. 145 remain. Six goal differential will usually trigger the running time. You see it on the clock there on the screen. Always got to watch that puck there if they're looking up ice and they're trying to play it off the glass. That means it's coming to me. <laughs> Here in the, in the perch. <laughs> Trying to dazzle and thread the needle between four Upland players. <laughs> hey, got to escape. <laughs> oh, again, a little stick to stick combat. And the recipient of that puck, Kim Willis. Well, let's uh, try to be opportunistic there. He recognizes that pass coming up ice. Smart player. It's not where the puck is, it's where it's going to be. He's recognizing that. And Cardigan been so aggressive here that the leaving guys on marks. 30 seconds remain. Really sloppy hockey, I'll tell you that. Morris tries to get it up ice. That puck, jump ball. Cardigan gets to it. Set up to the top. And five seconds remain. That folks is the end of the second game. Cardigan Mountain, victorious over the Upland Country Day Bees. Up on there. Checking in with their goalie. Actually, they both got good buckets there for the goalies. Like that. We'll see that later. And up and back, checking in with uh, Paco. And those strange pleasantries at center ice. So, uh, coming up here, after this, we'll be looking at game two. So, we got seven. And uh, some local events here, the Joe uh, Casino fundraiser. And um, then we'll do announcements for Lindsay Hall and Indian Mountain. we we'll play play this afternoon. So, not yet. All right. So, 
good hockey there. And uh, both teams well coached squads and uh, plenty of fight left in there. All right, so we'll see both teams later on um, today. Uh, Cardigan will be playing Rectory in game four, and, um, and that's at 3.30. And uh, Upland will be playing Rumsey later today for the last game of the day. That's going to be game five. And then uh, some of the Upland guys will be having sleepover <laughs> Rumsey. Uh, oh, wow, we got ourselves a PA system going here. This is, uh, this is getting serious. Okay, so we'll uh, catch you guys for the next game. That's going to be the Rumsey game. We're going to be... Uh, broadcasting through the Rumsey channel, but that's going to be the same channel we're launching right now. So uh, Rumsey and Indian Mountain will be at 2 o'clock, so we'll join you about five minutes before that. Um, then it's 